Hey guys out here uh, peeling on the old chicken tractor today. I uh, cut me three uh, fern strips out of the old 2 by 6 I found. And uh, got my hoops. I just decided to go with four hoops. Got the boss in there uh, checking things over. And uh, I think this is how I'm going to go with it. Uh, kind of like a, a cover on a, like a covered wagon. The level as you can as you can see, but uh, for chickens to graze over my yard, it's going to work. Uh, I think it's going to work out pretty good. I've got the netting. I want that old chicken coop. Your what? That old chicken coop? Yes. Well, I'm going to take these brackets off the side of it. Then I'm going to start to uh, put up a few pieces of that netting. See what that looks like. Hey guys, I uh, got the chicken tractor covered in this black netting. This stuff's pretty rigid. Uh, you know, I can't, when it's stretched out good, see this has got a little sag in it, but I'm not really worried about that. This is basically just to keep the uh, chicken hawks from getting them, the coons and stuff from getting in there. Which the coon might be able to chew through that, but I'm going to have them. Uh, Nest box right back here, so I'm not really worried too much about that. But uh, I've got it all covered. I went ahead and framed the door up, or the header for the door. Uh, probably a little overkill, but this is all scrap material. I've not bought anything but the treated four by fours you see, and the conduit, and the straps to hold the conduit on. I think I had 20 bucks and all that. Everything else is uh, reclaimed. So I'm gonna try to uh, measure and start the back part. I'm not got any of it covered. I'm gonna build a nesting box here and have a lid on top of it for the roof so that it'll raise up. I'm gonna cover it in tin so they don't get wet. So I'll get started on it and see what we come up with. Okay guys, this is what I've come up with. It goes from uh, 24 inches high in the front, 16 in the back. I've not got it done. I run out of uh, boards. I can take me another pallet apart, get enough. But uh, I've not got it fastened or anything. I just got it sitting there for this video. And, uh, I got this metal on there. It's tin. I'm just going to leave it like that where I can lift it up. I'll have some sort of latch down. Keep anything from getting in there, the wind blowing it up. Uh, it's just built out of pallets. The front of it, I'll finish it up. I'll just have an opening. Um, I'll leave an opening for them to get in there and a little old stoop to, or a little old step to get in out there. I'll have a water and a feeder in here. And what I'll probably do is just have a, have like a, a flat pair to where I can drop it down in here and have one here and one here and then I'll have a couple of roosts in here to let them perch on. Looks like I've already got one critter. She loves this thing. But uh, that's what I've come up with so far. And it's kind of light. I can flip this thing over or whatever I want to do. And I might put some wheels on the back of it under this uh, house, I've got some wheels that came off of my yard sweeper when I changed them. And I may try to rig that up somehow to where I can just lift the front of it up just a little bit and I won't have to worry about it. Well guys, thanks for watching.